All right, man. So I'm I'm gonna do one for the videos as well. I mean, I I know you've done the the videos um before, but just just to go over it again because it's been a while. So I mean, here's your files for uh, Craig and Circus. So um I'll just pick whatever uh shot I think looks best. I mean, you you obviously do the same. You'll know your shots. Uh, I mean that one could be centered, I, I assume that's the property, it could be centered on the property a little bit more when it finishes. I think that feels... I mean... Let's have a look. Yeah, that's... The end shot of that one's probably the best. And I don't really have options here, so I'll just drag them in. Right, and then so I'll just like shift and click them all, drag them into the timeline. Uh, time interpolation is something you want to do. Um, so highlight them all, right click, time interpolation, optical flow, then I'll click this uh, padlock to lock that to get rid of the the sound. Um, I mean, you can do, um, you can set up your own shortcuts and so it doesn't copy the sound and all that shit, but uh, it doesn't take a second, so I'll just leave it as is. So then I'll go through each clip and get rid of the, the junk at the start. So drag that away. I think Vadim's got a shortcut for this. Oh wait a minute, it was uh, this part of the I mean, this part is this as a start. Drag that away. No, that's the fluff at the end. So leave it on the property for a couple of seconds. Okay, there we go. Next one. <clears throat> so get rid of the fluff. Before you stand up, just put there. You can drag this to zoom in and out. That's what I do. Uh, I, I don't know. For some reason, I like to have like the next shot on a different layer. I mean, it, it doesn't matter at the end of the day, but that's how I like to do it. It's just easier to, to snap him and target him and stuff. Right, so drag and drop. Okay, okay, so it's just a wee shot. Okay, get rid of the fluff, snap into place. Again, get rid of the fluff. There you go, next one. Is this okay? Go into the bathroom and finito. Uh, was there a garden shot? No, okay. So next, I'll highlight them all and then I'll do my sort of effects. So I've got presets here, so that's my warp stabilizer. So, um, it'll be somewhere. In here anyway you can type in this search bit warp and then it will find like the warp stabilizer but uh, I've, I've got a preset one here just in my presets folder um set to uh, five percent so that's usually how, how much you want to stabilize it if, if you stabilize it like a higher percentage it starts to get um like do do like start freaking out and doing weird stuff and stabilizing it too much and cropping it too much and stuff like that right so that's this uh that's a stabilizer on it I'll apply i've got a lens correction here so the uh, uh, i need to drag it on so the I, I always apply a lens correction to y yours and mine and well and Vadim's but the lens correction here you go to the effect controls you, you can like you'll see so it's, it's just curvature minus two um, and I, I put that on all the images and I also sharpen it up so I've got a preset here called sharpen 
drag that on everything so that's just the the sharpen you'll find it in effects you can just search for sharpen there it is sharpen and i've, I've set that to sharpen amount 35 percent so that that's the percentage that i do for all those right so um next i'll nest the items because i so the shortcuts N on the keyboard is just click it, nest, click it, nest, click it, nest, click it, nest. And then after I've nested them, I'll target them all. Time interpolation again, optical flow. So you want the double optical th flow, it just makes it that little bit more smoother. Um, then I'll put cross dissolve um, on the start and end of all the shots, okay? So just drag it to the start, drag it to the end. Again, you can make a... You can make a like a, a shortcut to do this, and it it will put you, you can which I probably should do, but I've just I don't know. It would save time, but I mean it doesn't take long, so um, I just leave it as it is. So in the next bit, while all this stuff is stabilizing, um, it might not stabilize automatically, so you might need to click into the nested item and then manually click stabilize on the effect controls tab. Um, so yeah, the, the next bit's just, I mean, what I've started doing is just um, leaving like a couple seconds at the start. Uh, you, you need to go to show clip frames, time remap and speed on each clip. Show clip frames, time remap and speed, check check that on. So then at, at this part, you can make the, where, where you want it to speed up and slow down. So you make just a, a keyframe there, drag it up. Uh, I mean, your shots, mine, I'd probably set it to like 130 because I move a bit faster. Um, yours, I tend to do 150, 160. Um, so I mean, how's how's that? Yeah, it's not too bad. So I'll, I'll just make a a keyframe at the start, and then just just leave a, a few set like a, like well not maybe not even a few seconds, and then just set it to like like I said yours maybe one hundred fifty one hundred sixty, and then just make a you can you can drag this bit to make it like a like speed it up over time so just a wee bit of that sorry this is like this is in my template is uh, the, the title of the property so that's something I've started doing for Aberdeen Considine properties is uh, just have the the name of the the property um fade in sometimes I'll. Uh, if, if there's plenty of time in the opening shot, I might have it fade in. I mean, this is the wrong address, obviously. It's my template. I'll, like, I'll change it. But sometimes I'll have it, like, at the start of the video. Other times, uh, it might be, like, the first shot, like, in, inside. It might come up. It's, it's just when, when you think it's going to be a nice place. Oh, shit. Okay. So that was a false start. <laughs> okay. Uh... I should call that before I started stabilizing, but we'll just leave it like that. So same again, 150. Oh wait, it's already 150. So drag this down to 100. Yeah. So I mean that might be a nice moment to have the thingy come in. So I've set it to 150. Um, so sometimes your turnings can be a little fast, or um, this is what I mean about sort of like pace pacing. So that maybe I don't know. You want everything to kind of be the same pace. So you're maybe a little slow here, and then maybe a little fast turning there. So I might just make a couple more. This is something I wouldn't really need to do with mine. Is slow some of the bends down. Uh, the, the, the turns down and stuff like that so just the uh, experience with editing and uh, the gimbal and shit so I mean this looks fine I mean again I could maybe do that I could maybe speed up to 160 pause is like pretty long there um, like you're just pausing too long sometimes so uh, yeah I'll probably speed that up a little bit but sometimes speeding up these pauses can look a little bit awkward, so we'll see what it looks like. Set that to, and again, make make ramps so it's a, a bit smoother, it just doesn't suddenly get really quick. Um, yeah, and we'll see how the rest of the pacing is. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, 
goes kind of fast and slowly. This is why you need to try to get everything sort of similar pacing so you're not having to do stuff like this. So maybe a little bit fast compared to the rest of it. So maybe turn it down to 120 here. I mean, sometimes your pacing's like, I, I don't need to do stuff like this. Sometimes it's spot on, sometimes it's a bit off. That seems okay. So, sometimes with these short clips, I won't speed them up or slow them down if they're a good pace. But, yeah, this looks pretty slow. Uh, so, I'll speed that up. Clip frames, timing map and speed. Speed up. Try 140. Uh, try 140%. Not too bad. Next one. Right. Timing up and speed. So you're just doing the same thing on every clip, really. Set that to 150 and see how it is. I mean, maybe a little slow still. But, you know, it should be fine. Mm. Yeah, that's okay, not too bad. Next shot. Maybe starts a little slow. Probably I could drag a little bit more for that. Kind of want it to be started, like it's moving when you go into it. It's like just starting to move when you go into it. So you just want to cut the still stuff off. Um, I mean, this looks a little awkward. I guess it was a tight space. Um, like you, you maybe could have done a shot, just, just walking into the into the shower room from like use use the bed as like a starting point, walk into the shower room and then cut and then just start like here coming out of the room or something, and then your next next shot or something. I don't know, it just looks a little awkward, a little tight on space. Just kind of looking at a wardrobe. It'd be nice to maybe have another angle, look, get another nice angle of the, the bedroom. I don't know. It's all right. So again, clip from I've already done that. 150. See how it goes. See, again, like, the, 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 see the difference in... Like when you speed it up to 150, it should all kind of move at the same sort of speed. Like, uh, I don't know, it's not too bad. That might have been nice to turn a bit more there. Uh, sorry, we'll see how it goes. And then pay the pay, it just looks a little awkward here. It's like uh, turn, stop, turn, stop, turn. Um, maybe it could have been just turn a little bit s smoother. I don't, I don't know. So yeah, so maybe I'll speed a little bit of this up. Because at this point. I mean, this is, this is where you save time. It's like, uh, if I shot this, I, I probably just need to speed it up to like 130 and then just put it across the whole thing. And it just, just set the whole clip to 130 and, it, and it's all done. Um, and the Vadim's as well, he's, he, he, he don't need to do any speeding up, slowing down his shit. And it's uh, just how he shoots. It's, but I mean, I, I still like to shoot it the pace I like and then speed up to 130. Maybe just speed this bit up a little bit. Leave this at 150, see how it goes. I mean, again here, like we've already stopped in the hallway, like we've seen the hallway like a few times and stuff. So you don't really need to slow down when you're in the hallway and then like just just walk from like without and you can maybe make this turn in like a, a more gradual thing just go, going towards the bathroom but you know 
And again, that looks a little bit fast when it lands. So I'm just going to slow the ending down just a little bit. So it just ends a bit more smoothly. So yeah, that's basically it. And then I'll drag the the tail here. I mean, you might need to make this yourself, or maybe maybe I can export it and send it to you. I'll make a week video clip of it. Um, I think it is Aberdeen Constant Shawns you're shooting for. Um, and then again, you've got the the logo at the bottom. I mean, this is a template, so it's already there for me. You know what I mean? Um, and you you need to pick a music track. Um, and just pop the grades on and stuff, so I've got presets for that. Um, try exterior sunnies, because it's not too dull. Looks okay. Um, and then interior me now as well. I've got loads of stupid presets I don't even use. But yeah, interior me now is what I chuck on all the interior stuff. Um, and then that's that. And then I'll pop a music track on. Um, and then gradually fade it out at the end. That's, that's that really.